Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Phil and today we're gonna talk about this, which is my Millennium Machines Milo version 1.5, which is a community-driven um, 3D printable, partly or mostly, 3-axis mill. So, um, this mill is built up of uh, aluminium extrusions and has uh, linear guide rails and lead screws and can be configured for a variety of spindles. In my case, this is a 80 millimeter 2.2 kilowatt spindle, but there's also mounts and options for other spindles, uh, 65 millimeter diameter, and there's also some mounts for those uh, square mount type spindles. So um, this is a highly community driven project and um, can uh, and is highly um, supported by, by user mods. Um, there is an official Discord, which if you have interest in this mill, I highly suggest you join. And uh, well, let's get straight down to the facts. So the work area on this mill is about uh, 340 by 160 by 60 millimeters in the standard configuration. Um, you can probably see it like here. Um, this is about uh, where the tape measure is laid out, the workable area of the mill. Um, and the plate that's on here for reference is uh, 200 by 160. So the entire table width is a workable area and about on the x-axis where the tape measure is, is also uh, a workable area. Um, the Z height of 60 millimeters is mostly dependent on the height of this 3D printed part, which I personally call the Z gantry um, bottom plate. And in the usual work area, this is um, this distance here is 60 millimeters from the table to the bottom plate. On my version, I've opted to um, increase this uh, this distance a bit. My Milo is up to uh, 120. Maybe you can see that here. Um, but this comes with a few uh, well challenges, let's call it uh, uh, like that. Um, as I said, the Milo is mostly made out of 3D printed parts. Uh, for example, here you can see the spindle housing, the Z plate, the Z motor mount, the Y motor mount, the X motor mount, etc. is all 3D printed. And um, the first question I usually get is, uh, are 3D prints really that strong and stable and um, really able to, to uh, withstand the stresses and forces of, three, uh, of, a, mill, of a milling machine? Well, the answer for that is it highly depends. Um, for very light milling, yes. If you don't increase the uh, set gantry height uh, above something like 60, or 60 is the standard work area, like 80 or maybe 100, yes. As you can see, my version on here on the side has a six millimeter thick steel uh, side plates. Those are called the FMJ mod, and there's one of those user mods I uh, already mentioned. And um, my so far, except from those uh, for for the FMJ plates, my mill is entirely 3D printed. I still have the uh, 3D printed Z plate, the 3D print printed XY joiner plate, and all the 3D printed motor mounts and other uh, plates and everything. So um, there is. The highly suggest uh, the, the the big suggestion to at least mill the uh, Z plate and the X Y joiner plate out of aluminum, which can be done with the uh, 3D printed parts installed in the machine, and is actually my next project. And you can see the stock already being prepared there. And um, there's also going to be a user mod or a semi-official mod, I think. Uh, for mounting the spindle with aluminum uh, brackets which is going to be basically a two-piece clamp system from the front and from the back with some 3D printed pieces going over top of that uh, in order to keep the aesthetics of the entirely 3D printed mount. Um, so 
in order to build a Mallow, it is, well, advisable or at least, um, I think in my personal opinion, it's pretty much necessary to have a 3D printer, which can print temperature uh, sensitive materials. So my um, mill is completely out of ASA, uh, though ABS is also a possibility. Uh, and I think we are already had one build with PETG or even though this is not officially recommended um, What if you don't have a 3d printer, but are interested in building a Milo nonetheless? Um, on the official discord, there's also a printed forward program kind of like the Voron um, Printed forward program where basically you can uh, ask or custom order if you will um Printed parts for from the community for your mill. Um, you can also start with the milled parts. For example, uh, the Z plate and the X Y joiner plate, uh, which are the most uh, important uh, parts to to uh, move from 3D printed to uh, milled parts, are also available uh, commercially by Fabrico, and I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, and there's also a millet forward program being started basically the same as the printed forward but instead uh, you have users who uh, already have a working milo uh, who will make you the uh, milled parts in order for you to already start uh, with milled parts especially as i said the z plate and the xy joiner uh, the two things that are really the most uh, important things to replace with uh, milled parts um, the other stuff is mostly, well, uh, the extrusions I got from Radrick as I uh, did the stepper motors. Those are the LDO Beefy Boys um, in 86mm uh, and I used them on all three axes here, back there in the Y and up here in the Z. Um, all the rest of it, the lead screws, the bearings, the uh, linear rails uh, are available as a kit on AliExpress um, and then electronics is another topic on itself um, so far there hasn't been any standardization on any standard um, how do you call it uh, mainboard um, but there are different um, versions out of there out there uh, which so far seem to be working all fine um, if you don't like ordering at AliExpress, uh, there are no complete kits yet. Fabrico, which I mentioned earlier for the milled uh, Z and XY plates, are putting together a couple of kits. They have a uh, frame kit for the standard Z height, so no extension of Z height here. Um, they have a hardware kit which in uh, includes all the bolts and nuts and everything else you need. They have um, the rail kit, which uh, includes all the necessary linear rails. And uh, they do have the bearing kit, which includes, for example, uh, the bearings here on uh, the y-axis, the x-axis, z-axis, etc. Uh, so I'll put a link to Fabrico and their um, shop page for the Milo in the uh, description of the video. As uh, I will also link the official Discord, which, well, if you want to get started, I think is the first thing to do is to join the official Discord. It's a very nice community so far, um, and it's it's well, it's really it's really cool to see uh, everyone working together to to make Milo uh, a viable alternative to the real big bear, a big brand or or big working area uh, CNC machines. So then, after you join the official Discord, have a look at the bill of materials, have a look around on what can be customized. Uh, as I mentioned, Z height. You can also change the dimensions of uh, the X axis, the uh, Y axis, the Z axis, etc. Everything you want. Um, though there are some some limitations or uh, rather, well, recommended uh, limits that you shouldn't go over. Um, but yeah. And then start ordering parts. Um, most of my stuff, as I said, 
came from AliExpress, except for the rails and motors which came from Retric. The spindle I'm using is a Vivor 2.2 kilowatt air cooled spindle. Um, there's also users using the water cooled variety of that, but I stuck for the air cooled because I don't want another uh, cooling tank. And so far, it's been pre uh, working out pretty well for me. And then you gotta start 3D printing or ordering through or uh, ordering through the uh, Print It Forward or Minute Forward program um, to get all the parts to you in time when the other stuff arrives. Well, what does it cost? The mill, as you see it here, uh, for me, including the 2.2 kilowatt spindle, including the VFD, including the Evan J side plates, uh, including a little bit of initial tooling. Uh, give me a second. Oops. This is a bit of initial tooling. Um, the, those are 6mm one flutes, 5mm one flutes, uh, round nose, uh, chamfer mill, and oops, some more uh, 3.175 in different length uh, and some more 6mm. Um, including all the electronics in the electronics compartment down here in the table. Um, my total cost so far is about 1,600 euros. It can be done for less. Um, most definitely, I've not cheaped out on any of the electronic parts. Um, I did order most of the stuff locally in Germany or at least in Europe. You can get the uh, price lower, uh, especially if you're willing to order a lot from uh, AliExpress or other Chinese websites. Uh, but for me, yeah, this was okay. Uh, the enclosure you can see around it uh, is not included in that price. But uh, yeah, there's a. Th this is also not the official in uh, enclosure. Or official. There's a um, program currently going around for making an official enclosure. Um, I stuck to the Open Builds 510 enclosure, I think which I will also link uh, down in the description. And yeah, so about uh, 1600 euros is my estimation uh, to what, or at least what my mill cost. And yeah, so what can you do with it? Uh, well, it's perfectly capable of milling wood. This uh, is MDF, and this is actually the preparation for my next project. Uh, give me a sec. I've somewhere had, oh, I can't find it right now. You can obviously mill wood, no problem at all. Um, I've actually got a uh, wood surface uh, plate or uh, surface um, bit in here at the moment, which I use to, to plane the uh, MDF plate. You can obviously also mill aluminum. So this, are my set of uh, sorry, that one's the wrong way around. I just keep it that way so I don't lose the screws. Uh, this is my um, clone of the Saunders Machine Works mod files, and uh, I've milled those myself, no problem at all. And um, I'm currently in the process of uh, printing the C plate. Uh, the milling the C plate and the XY journal plate. So that's uh, in preparation stage, let's call it like that. Um, I've actually got the stock uh, for the C plate right here. This will become the new Z plate. And the other plate you see back here is uh, going to be a replacement for this plate here with the proper mounting screws for. Um, all the necessary holes in the Z plate and the uh, XY plate. So I'm basically making myself a uh, jig in order to repeatedly uh, put these on. You can see I'm working with locating pins. Um, in order to, to uh, basically kickstart the millet forward program. And for that I'll use this piece. This is uh, 7075 aluminum. I've already prepared it with double sided tape. 
and this will basically um, be a replacement for this plate and then everything uh, I'll first I'll, uh, oh, I'll make another video about that <clears throat> in short is um, you can mill aluminum with no problem uh, it's actually quite impressive for such a small and especially 3d printed machine on how much material it can remove obviously it's not like a uh, tormark in 1100 mx or a haas or anything like the big boys out there um, but i mean it's 3d printed mostly and it's uh, 1600 bucks at least for me so i can't really complain i'm very 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 um yeah i'm just i'm just thrilled on on how this turned out so far um and i'm looking forward to making a few videos so what are my future plans and projects on this mill? Well, first of all, I'm going to, as I said, make this um, fixture plate and then I'll take you around on the uh, few projects I have to improve the mill. For example, making the C plate, making the XY joiner plate, making the hearts of iron mod, which uh, basically puts the rigid mount on the spindle or the aluminum clamp style mount on the spindle. And after that, uh, I'll probably make another video about making the uh, Saunders Machine Works uh, Modwise clone that I, well, ripped off Saunders. Um, and yeah, I hope you stick around to that. I'll put all the interesting and uh, recommended links, Fabrico, the official Discord server, um, probably also the, the Bill of Materials um, in the uh, description. And I hope you stick around and come back on my next videos where, well, first of all, we're going to make the fixture plate. And after that, for the subsequent uh, projects I'm going to do the, with this mill. So I hope you come back for those. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.